Hey guys, you in the mood for a card show recap perhaps? But I'm in the mood for a nightcap perhaps because I'm tired. I've been on my feet all freaking day since early this morning. The weather sucks, it's raining, it's gloomy. Now you know about what that does to my disposition. But you know what? I ended up having a real, real nice day. And no, it wasn't because the Hofstra show was anything special. Matter of fact, it wasn't any different than it usually is any other month. Even though, like I said, the weather was bad. The Memorial Day weekend. But overall, I had a nice show. Why did I have a nice show? Because I don't know if you've seen Ted from Serenity Sports video already. But Ted was nice enough to come down and see me taking a drive from uh, Mi uh, Mi uh, Michigan, Massachusetts. And spending all that time on the road and the weather and whatnot to see me. And that was very nice of him. I wish I had an opportunity to see a lot of you guys more often. But again, uh, I'm in New York, so I understand. But the next big show that I'll be doing, most likely, is the October show in White Plains. So, Victor Negron, I'll see you there. You better bring this, the cha-ching, and Ted, or whoever might ever want to make the trip also. But Ted, I'd met him before, he's a nice guy, he's fun, he's easy to talk to, you know, somebody that Rousseau can get along with. Anyway, uh, the show, like I said, it had the same crowd that it always does. It's a loser show, guys, you know. And, uh, you know, I had a nice setup, whatever. You know, I try to bring a little more affordable stuff there. I think, if you, like I said, go see Ted's video, you'll see my setup. And uh, the only, oh, Ted, yeah, the only thing is, like I said, I you said you were hungry. I offered you a freaking hot dog, but I told you, he bit me. I got freaking marks. That's why I got no watches, no jewelries, because he dug his freaking chompers right into my hand. Uh, I said, that's no hot dog. But anyway, I know you didn't really mean it. Your hunger just took it over. But anyway, uh, so, uh, so you know, again, I, I, I did what I did. I don't know how much money I made. It was irrelevant. I hadn't done a show in a while. I was itching to get out. <clears throat> but the only problem is, and I'm not sure, I'll know later when I look through, when I was packing up, I think I had a $600 card that I can't find. $600 freaking dollar card, guys. Unless I, you know, it's in the boxes or I put it in the wrong space. But I could have got clipped. Look, guys, everybody who does shows or any kind of retail, whatever, is going to get clipped. You swallow it and you just start it over. But anyway, guys, too much bullshit and bullshit so they want to see the cards. A box of optic. It wasn't much for me to buy. The same old stuff, wax-wise. and You know, again, without going into a whole dissertation and whatnot. I like my optics, so, you know, let's show them. Let's show you. Optic Hobby. Not fast break. This is Optic Hobby. Alright guys, I don't show you everything, especially when I want to get down to the nitty gritty. If there's nothing in this pack to show you. Yeah, rookie of Terrence Ferguson. You don't need to see Terrence. Just a decent rookie numbered or whatever. Silver Prism of Damari Carroll. No, you don't need to see that either. Made a couple of new friends today, guys. You know, guys that I, I maybe have seen their face. They stopped over. They bought a few cards, you know. Like, this is a nice card. Not that it's a big deal. And it's not that low number. But I didn't have it. And I like LeBron. The orange LeBron, number to $199. i will keep that. It's not a big deal card, guys. It may be a $5 card, a $10 card. And don't bet against LeBron, guys. I mean, this guy is playing like a man in a... Against a bunch of boys. I mean, he can he can win the freaking series all by himself, okay? So, I don't really have a stake in who wins. But you know what? And I got nothing against the Boston Celtics. But right now, I just wouldn't bet against LeBron and the Cavaliers. And my other feeling is that the Rockets are going to win. So it's going to be the Rockets against the Celtics. I mean, the uh, Cavaliers in the finals. That's just my thing. Makes no freaking matter. Makes no difference. Ain't going to put no money in my pocket. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm opening the packs. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not showing you nothing. 
and I'm hungry because I didn't eat nothing there, so I got to eat something. They got a big food court at Hop Street, you know, but it's I would have had to leave my table unattended. I don't even trust Mrs. Russo there because she don't know for shit from Shinola with the cards, so I didn't eat. But that's all right. Alfred Payton Blue. I mean, just because it's a nice color, the rooster. The rooster. Plus, I mean, they got hamburgers, you know, the students make them, I think, or whatever, and it's like 10 freaking bucks for a hamburger. So, you know, and it ain't even that good. So that's why I offered Ted a freaking hot dog, and he fucking bit me, bit me. <laughs> All right, Lori Marketing, and a uh, green shack prison number two, whatever, I don't know. And uh, look, Ted, I, I, I would have offered you would, it would have been mustard and sauerkraut, neither. So you didn't let me have the chance. You just put them freaking chompers right into my own. Well, I hope you had a safe trip home. Guys, this box suck because I, what did I show you? Three or four cards that not even worth a couple bucks. Or right, here's a green of Johnny Wall. Johnny Wall, at least it's a nice color. It's a star that you get, I don't know, dollar, two dollars. Seriously. Seriously. Like a heart attack. And here's my freaking autograph, guys. Hold on. It's the guy on... It's a rookie signature. No, I think the Kings. Yeah, Bogdan Bondanovich. Not a bad player, but not enough big money. But at least there was a rookie. And not freaking or Vin Baker or Vin Diesel or Theo Ratliff, right, Wesker? We should have had you here, Wesker, today, too. You know, would have really had a part. Mike O, you would have been breaking freaking Diamond Kings, you know? Alright. But again, this box, I got my autograph, I show you the feed. A few numbered cards, three more packs. And I didn't get no Bulls, no Tatums, no Fultzes, no Mitchells, no shit. So yeah, guys, this was so far a waste of money. But hey, it won't be the first time, it won't be the last. So the prism of C.J. McCollum, last pack. All right, who's going to take the charge here and give this sucker a little kiss? Jack Frost, you want to use your blowtorch? Last pack, guys. Come on, give me a freaking number card. Hey, I got a number card of a rookie, but it's the wrong rookie, Justin Patton. All right, guys, look. It's been nice scenes, been nice knowing. I'll see you in a few minutes. Ciao.